So EAFC trailer just dropped. Let's find out what's happening in the trailer. Yes, now people, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the EAFC trailer available now. And I promised I'd give you my honest reactions. I've not seen any of this yet. I've just, just clicked on the trailer. So this is going to be a live reaction and you'll find out what I think about the game as I'm recording this. So... Yeah, let's get into this. I'm excited for this. Okay, so some good graphics. Some looks all right. Different crowd reactions. Lovely. Different running styles, question mark? Ooh, that's a good tackle. Player reactions. Manager reactions. Free kicks. We can't just base it off of this, but it looks good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go back. So Beckham Zidane. I thought it was someone else. Is that Robin? Robin! Iron Robin is in the EAFC 25. Wow. So Dan looks nice. Beckham looks nice. Bon Matty. Is this the new... That's the new 5v5. And we'll get into that in a second. More tactical analysis? Maybe? Women manager, we love that. FIFA? FCIQ. Ooh, this is interesting. So it looks like... It looks like there's gonna sorry for pausing. It looks like there's gonna be quite a lot of changes in the way of the game players, and I'm hoping that's the case. Because if that's the case, boy, what am I excited? No more wing play, please. The graphics on this look amazing. Better reactions. Maybe new save mechanics. You never know. He's graphics, man. As you can see there, we can you can see some of the stuff I'm about to go over. But I'm going to go head over to Twitter because there's quite a lot I want to show you. So the first thing you'll see is an EAFC Ultimate Edition pre-order bonus. So Origin um, is Origin Heroes, which come out on the September the 20th, which would be these. These heroes, but we'll speak about them in a speak about them but we'll speak about them in a moment uh you'd obviously get a greatest of all time icon no one cares about that um you'd also get a prime hero on november the 28th but you'd also get an origin on the day it comes out i believe um you obviously get seven day early access 4300 4600 fifa points three icons for player career so r9 beckham and zidane okay uh one player evolution slot which would be the Fan Revo practically, and a rush bonus points thing, which we will talk about in a sec. Um, I'm in excited for the cover. Mainly, you got John Luigi Buffon, who is making a return. So thank fuck. Next up, we got FC Twenty Five friendlies matchmaking. Friendlies and rival matchmaking will be decoupled. I think that's the word. F in FC25 Ultimate Team to make friendlies a lot more fun for people, especially when completing objectives. I think that's a W. Which means you have more of a... You play worse or better people. A weird one is they are rem there will be 50 individual player roles and familiar familiarity of a player with the position you put them in. So a poacher versus a false nine, it will influence the work rate. So... There's actually technically none of that. It's based on the role you put him in. So that could be interesting. That could work very well, but we'll have to see. And one of my favorites, EAFC 25 pack animation is returning to the doors and tunnels like in FIFA 20 and 21. This is a fucking W. I love this. I want this to happen. Um... This is probably one of the best animations we've had. And I love 
the tunnel, tunnels. Don't get me wrong, this year it's a bit meh. But this tunnels is what I want to see, and I hope it's in next FIFA. And by the way, I am saying FIFA because I will not ever say F EAFC because I don't know as EAFC. Next up, <laughs> new info regarding the new 5v5 game mode. You've got a race to the ball kickoff, which is... So this game I will not be playing. I don't like this. Um, race to the ball kickoff. Penalty one equals... Uh, we get penalties, which is 1v1 dribbling versus goalkeepers of so the MLS penalties pretty much blue card um which was meant to be introduced in real life um where you get sent off for a certain amount of time maybe five ten minutes offside only in the attacking third which is again i'm i'm gonna i only give my opinion on this because i don't like this game mode um and volta is removed because it's gonna replace volta so yippee volta was shit to be honest i didn't like volta never did never will um so i'm glad it's going We've got new upgrades to Evolutions. Now, this is a W. Um, it's much more based on restrict, more broad restrictions for Evos, which means you can finally Evo your favourite player. And if we do it on Stefan Schwab, Stefan Schwab is getting used for this. Much more Evos throughout the year because we didn't really get many this year. I say many, we actually got quite a bit, but it's not as many as we thought. Um, be able to customise how you want the card to look from the background, which is fucking amazing so in reality if you wanted you could have a blue background and it'd be sick you could choose that uh, sound effects and more which i didn't know was a thing but i don't know why you'd want sound effects on a card it's yeah um but the background w i like that now i don't know if this is true um i hope it's true but I don't think it is. And this is a massive W. Uh, duplicate storage will be making a return. And we obviously saw it in the FIFA, FIFA 18 World Cup. Now that was only obviously for the World Cup. But it was so good. I think that EA should have released this earlier. Probably FIFA 19 after. You know it's like you've just done it. So why not? But if this comes into the game. Levels. <laughs> This game would be levels. You go on a sign. Well, you, you can't go on a sign. You'd have a hundred spaces, you know, to put whatever. So you could do your trading and put them in the other, in the uh, duplicate storage or whatever. I don't know. New custom tactics in EAFC. Well, in FIFA 25, we will have a new way of customizing how you, our team plays in games. And I didn't see something about um, corners. You can uh, do set pieces, you know, design your own set pieces um, to make it more efficient. So you can score from corners and do your own set piece tactics, you know, free kicks and stuff. Just to um, make yourself more involved in the game, make yourself feel like an actual manager. But then again, you have a football manager for that. So, yeah, but this is good. Now, this is something I don't like. We will have a free season pass and a premium season pass. I hate this. This makes me feel like jumping on Fortnite instead. Um, I would rather not do this. It's This is so Fortnite-esque. It just brings bad memories. Well, bad memories. Um, obviously, it could be good, but I don't want it. I would rather not have that. Um, I'd rather just stick to the season, you know, the season and have more stuff in there and it to be longer and longer rather than have a season pass because it's just, just makes me feel like Fortnite at this point. Um, I'd rather not play that. Um, as you can see, gone at 16,000 XP, XP, 20,000 XP for bloody Julian Alvarez. Like, it's obviously a concert, but... It's just, I just don't care. I'd rather not have that. Now, for the first time ever, I actually want to just grab the game now, but I physically can't. As you can see, obviously, I was talking about FC IQ. Um, it's the first time I've seen this. I knew something about it. I saw it just on Twitter as I was on my way home, but I didn't scroll through it. I looked at the image, and that was it. Apart from that, that's it. Um, we can see custom tactics will feature team tactics, player roles, smart tactics, real life, real time tactical suggestions. Also, custom tactics can be shared via QR code. Don't know why you want to do that, but 
if you go over here, um, there are over 4 million tactical combinations with the new FC IQ custom tactics. Get ready for 7 out of 8 part of the buzz, buzz tactics. Um, so you obviously can see there's going to be quite a bit of um, tactical stuff towards the game. Um, we can also see we have a new division rival system again back in FIFA 2021, 20, I think, was the point system. And oh my God, that was nice. But obviously it was like 600 points. You know, it's it's it was like you have 40 games. That's it. No, I think it's rivals you have max, I believe. I, I, I can't remember. Um, but yeah. Um, it'll be a point system. There's relegation, new rewards, three points for a win, one point for a draw. You know, you actually get rewarded. No more quitting at nil-nil because you get a point and you get the loss. Mate, it's beautiful. Um, and I hope we continue down the same path that we are doing with foot champs with wins. Um, obviously, George can't do foot champs, but yeah. Um, this is a W. I liked it back in the FIFA 2021, whenever that was. Um, we could we'd get um certain ranks and stuff like rank one, you know, rank two, rank three, rank four. You know, like like old old foot champs. And apparently there is new all player roles now. I won't go through every single one because you can see them here. It's pretty much like half thing is FM. Um, they, I will say they have sort of copied it in a sense, but. It's nice to know there's a lot, a lot of options, and this can be so fun. Like, so fun. As you can see, there is a lot of... <laughs> a lot of FM stuff involved with this, but I like that they're choosing to go down that route because it makes the in-game experience a lot more fun. You can have your CDM on hold and, you know, you send about some ball play and they're going to be there at goal kicks. They're going to play with the ball up. You can have full backs. You can have false back. I don't know what that is. I think that's... Now you get inverted full backs, I think. I think that's false back. Attacking wing backs, you know. Uh, striker, poacher, false line, target forward, advance forward. You know, there's real options here and it's so nice to have. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Player roles in EFC 25. <coughs> Role equals player can play in position. So it's decent. So we can play in that role. Role plus. Player accomplished in position, real world data. So you could play Bellingham in centre mid and he'd have role plus. That means he is accomplished in that position and he plays there in real life pretty much. That's basically what I think it means. And uh, role plus plus equals world class in position. So Messi at centre forward, for example. Ronaldo at striker. Stefan Schwab at centre mid, you know. Um, that sort of stuff. And it actually good. Uh, as you can see, every player has at least one role plus. Only a few have role plus plus. So that's going to be interesting. I'd imagine like the high rate Mbappe, you know, Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, uh, Haaland, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, it gives you that sort of um, boost. I'd imagine it comes with boost, you know, just a... Um... It does sort of, again, as you can see at the bottom, it will make it more pay to win. So it's, yes, yeah, it's, it's a bit weird. But that is practically everything in terms of what is here for the EFC 25. But um, yeah, I'm kind of excited. Um, I know it's obviously going to be the same game as last year, depending on sort of stuff. But if it's not, then I'm, I will be excited for this game mode. Game mode? If it's not the same as last year, I'll be so excited. But yes, that is everything towards the EAFC 25 trailer. If you guys do want to see more videos like this, then please do feel like a comment down below as it does mean the world to me. Um, and I am out. Hope you enjoy the video. Take care. Peace.